facilitators let me explain you once again what does facilitator really perform facilitator really helps you to smoothen your work when you want to speak as a child it really helps you to expedite your thinking process and to use and substantiate your the work which you want to carry out and primarily we are concerned with the responsibility and you know primarily it is our feeling that we should help our children to speak better that is our purpose and that's where we are digging very hard and exhibiting one after the other some kind of facilitators i mean idioms those idioms we can really help you motivate you and ultimately facilitate you in speaking properly so today the word or the idiom which i am going to pick up are like these accident waiting to happen you know suppose you must have seen on the road people are traveling by broken carriage and they are you know overloaded in those carriage that is two wheelers or maybe four wheelers or a maxis or the taxis you know or even trains sometimes it happens that they are overloaded they are climbing on the roof they are hanging along the window side with the you know gate so this is something accident waiting to happen aapne nimantran diya hua hai aa jao ab ho jao that kind of scenario so one should refrain because safety is of utmost importance we should not wait for an accident to happen if we are careful accident can be avoided so the idiom is accident waiting to happen a dangerous way of setting up or organizing something whether it is on transport whether it is you know your locomotion and safety standards so one should avoid such kind of scenario and you should be very careful so the idiom is accident waiting to happen it was also during the corona virus lockdown was a very good safeguard our prime minister did not wait for accident to happen he was not waiting for accident to happen he even used it this synonym in that context also he was not waiting for accident to happen the other one according to hoel what is that properly in accordance with established procedures according to hoel h o y l e is english word according to hoel isse dekhte ho ge koi log some people in our country we follow the rule of law and everything if it is done according to the procedure according to the established rule of the land that is called according to hoel if somebody mostly the criminal anti social element they do not believe any kind of laws 
regulation rules and established practices of the land so it is said it is not according to well but those who believe in rule of law and established procedure of the land there it is said it is according to well h o y l e according to well this is an idiom very famous idiom according to well you have to do according to well everything was done according to well there was no follies in my part people say that those who followed all kind of his procedures the next one is s in the hole a c e s in the hole a hidden advantage i did know i reached there by an accident to me it proved to be s in the hole you were not knowing that once you go there you went very reluctantly and you didn't know something good was waiting for you your reluctance there while you were proceeding to start for that place you were quite reluctant bahut atpate bhav se aadhe adhure bhav se aapne wahan pe jana socha lekin wahan jaane ke baad aapki lottery khul gayi what you say that it was s in the hole a c e s in the hole <coughs> hidden advantage advantage jo ki chupa hua tha okay next is a c test a c why a c you must have, must be knowing there are three kinds of acids hcl hydrochloric acid h2so4 sulfuric acid and what next that hcl. hcl hydrochloric acid so ac test a crucial event that determines the worth of something now indian team always wins home series then it is said now it is ac test for india to win a series in england in australia in south africa in new zealand recently the test series which was con concluded india badly lost to new zealand in test series so that was a ac test a very so ac test is a crucial test test of your wit power and determination that is a crucial event that determines the worth worth of something if you go to australia and you defeat australia in australia itself on the soil of australia that is a real acid test so acid test is a famous idiom the next one is acknowledge the corn a c k n o w l e d g e acknowledge the corn c o r n acknowledge the corn means admit to mistake there are many people who do not succumb to their mistakes no 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 i haven't done that how can i say that it was not my mistake normally they say that people who admit their mistakes they do not become weak or feeble rather they are admired it is said he is above the salt so he doesn't become a small man acknowledge the corn maybe that you haven't done anything but if the perception is bad if somebody is casting fingers at you it is better for you to acknowledge the corn so my dear children the idiom is acknowledge the corn c o r n corn now let us recapitulate accident waiting to happen a dangerous way of setting up or organizing something i give you the example of four wheeler there are seats for seven people but there are 14 or 17 or 20 20 people they are all hovering over inside up that is accident waiting to happen according to hoel according to procedure according to rules and regulation no aberrations ace in the hole a hidden advantage anything which happened i didn't expect 
that this was a occurrence is in the hole for me. It was a hidden advantage for me. Acid test, a crucial test of your wit or grit or your prowess or your might. I gave you the example of Indians are going to be tested on the foreign land. As it is, India is very powerful on Indian soil. But if we, India can win a match, test series in Australian soil, that is a real acid test. Acknowledge the con, that is, admit a mistake. If you admit your mistake, if you acknowledge your con, you do not become small. Rather, your reputation would rocket sky high. So it is said, acknowledge the con. Those who acknowledge the con are always held in high esteem. Therefore, you should quite often use this idiom. The next is a quiet test. A quiet. A C Q U I R E D. A quiet test. Something one learns to appreciate only after trying it repeatedly. Now you must have seen if you go over to Darjeeling or to Assam, they are testers. Who are testers? They test karte hai, different samples, ko, tea ke different samples, ko, and they tell you which quality of tea is. Who are these? They are those who have acquired the test. They have not passed some examination. They have acquired the taste over a period of time. Maybe 10,000 samples of tea they must have tested. So those testers are called, they have acquired the taste. Means those who have become expert. Those who have become expert in something, they have called, acquired the taste. Across the board, in relation to all categories for everyone. In this corona period, now you must have seen that quarantine is going on everywhere. So the facilities are being accorded across the board. categories No, everyone across the board. Same food, if it is chapati, roti, dal, sabji and all. It is across the board. It is to be provided across the board. One and all. No difference. No, no, somebody is rich, so give him rich diet. No, no, nothing like that. These food are prepared in a uh, common kitchen and it is to be supplied across the board. So across the board. My family is a joint family. And the food prepared are enjoyed across the board. Har koi us food ko khata hai. Aisa nahi kisi ki alag se banta hai. You can use it at your home also. So therefore, it is a very interesting, very loving and often to be used by one and all. Across the pond. Across the pond. On or other side of the Atlantic Ocean. Now when the Americans talk about the Americans talk about the Europeans or the Europeans talk about the Americans. So what they will use? Across the pond. Because in between there is an Atlantic Ocean. How far are they? Oh they, they are just across the pond. Across the pond. If Americans look up to the Britishers, what would they say? They are across the pond. Although literally pond has no meaning here because this is the medium. Across the pond means other side of the Atlantic. Act high and mighty. Act high and mighty. What is that? Be arrogant, presume that one is better than others. These days, you must have seen the arrogant behavior of China. They are listening to none. 
entire world community is saying that coronavirus is spread from the epicenter being in china in form of a city called wuhan but china is acting high and mighty no 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 they are giving all kind of excuses which no world community is ready to accept so that is they are acting high and mighty they are giving all kind of excuses no 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 it is a, it has spread from the bat it has come from there all kind of blah 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 but world community knows have you ever seen besides buhan any other city of china being spread out this corona virus no why not america is around 10000 km from china america is badly affected by it they lock down their cities but they never lock down commuting from the whole community as a result of which they started trading with the whole of europe india australia and north america in which canada and america and latin america also comes so it is spread far by it and when the proofs were given they are acting high and mighty that is their arrogance act of congress i am not talking about this congress party congress party this is not the uh, issue about the congress party act of congress the very word congress means congress means to get together to act together congress congregation from the word congress congregation to the assemble together congregation has come or has been arisen so act of congress is hard to get set of authorization you know if i get authority letter from him is a act of congress is very difficult to get if you get some authority letter suppose somebody say that there are three brothers and everybody is trying to get a t- power attorney from his uncle and uncle is not buzzing is not moving at all is not in the mood to give so it's very difficult it's an act of congress so these adms are a very good facilitator and really gives a different taste and color to your words to your sentences and it really adds a charm while you speak so you must remember this act one's age to act mature not childish act one's age to be mature not childish he is acting of his age it's a it's an act of age it's an act of one's age you see sometimes he says narendra modi is a very powerful leader he is a very mature leader he has moved all the way around and he has gathered so much of respect world over it's a an act of one's age he by age also he is around 70 years he is a very matured very astute very you know calculated man very considerate but not forgiving very tough man but for indians he just like a father father figure so it is said and act once age he has acted once age narendra modi has acted once age that's it idiom which we must remember actions speak louder than words actions speak louder than words kuch log kya hota hai keval bakwas karte hain they will say ye hona chahiye wo hona chahiye abhi dekho bahut sari party bolti hai 70 saal mein 70 saal mein yuva ko naukri nahi mila what the hell you are doing in 70 years why alone you are blaming our prime minister now this im unemployment has occurred not in 5 or 6 years they must have taken so many years to mature and come to the age of 21 but only to blame and play a game of blemish blemishness they talk rubbish so it is said action speaks louder than words if you could have done something before while you were ruling the country that would have been much better 
बट नरेंद्र मोदी जी इज हिज एक्शन स्पीक्स लॉडर देन इज वर्ड्स he is doing everything silently he hardly replies to any one words except in the election campaign and my dear children you should while you you this synonym uh, this and uh, idiom you should your actions should speak louder than your words if i ask you how many words did you remember so many words but unless and until you speak before me and i ever see you speaking flawless english i cannot believe it unless and until i see you i hear you and i watch your performance in public i can't say that you have remembered all the words so your action speaks louder than your words the next one is achilles hill achilles hill a c h i d l l e s achilles hill the weak point of an otherwise powerful person or organization the weak point Donald Trump was going very high and strong in his country and he was favored to be the next president of America but coronavirus and related so many thousands death proved Achilles heel for him and it is suspected that he might lose in the coming election Achilles heels A C H I D L L E S Achilles heels matlab बहुत एक सब कुछ ठीक चल रहा था लेकिन एक गलती या एक ऐसी घटना हो गई गलती भी नहीं कर सकते हो इसमें कोरोना वायरस फैलने में डोनाल्ड ट्रम्प की क्या गलती है इट वॉज ए समथिंग विच केम बाय एन एक्सीडेंट अब इसमें चाइना की गलती है किसकी गलती है दैट इज रिलेटेड टू बी डिसाइडेड बट दैट केम टू अमेरिका एंड इट इज अ फैक्ट दैट मोर देन सेवेंटी थाउजेंड पीपल आर डैड ऑलरेडी so that has proved an agile sales for donald trump in america so my dear loving children you remember these idioms i again name it call it pronounce it a facilitator idioms are facilitator that will facilitate your speaking prowess thank you very much ग्लानिर्भवति भारत अभ्युत्थम से तदात्मा सृजाम्यहम परिणाय साधु विनाशा च दुष्कृता धर्म संस्थापनाय सं